Previously on, Zakia loves Pinto. But one thing she is not is a mean girl. I need to go to Pinto. <laughs> Sushi karaoke spot. Shout out to Nick and Carla. Okay, all the breaths. It's big game, big game. Big game, big game. Big game. Let me focus. So, I made my girls some basically veggies yesterday. It has rice. Yesterday, it has rice, black beans, peas, and broccoli. Little scoop of this. Oh, I'm not ready. Baby scared because she thinks that it's gonna change their poop. I'm not looking forward to it because you know why. You know why. I might have to pick up the irregulars. You know what I'm saying? Do I think? Which it may, know, but know. I'm not giving them a lot. This is how much I'm gonna give them a spoonful to start off. They're supposed to actually get 20% soft food and then, I mean, no, 80% soft food, 20% hard food. So I found out about the dog food slash soft food um, situation when I took Sala to the eye doctor actually. And she was telling me just about her diet. She was asking like, what does she normally have? And I told her like, well, 80% dog food, like 20% soft food or veggies and other things throughout the day as treats. And she was like, no, it needs to be the other way around. And I was so surprised. Um, she said it's just better for their health and wellness throughout their life. It's better for them to have more soft food. So it was really surprising to me. Um, I already feed them like broccoli, carrots, peas, like all types of different healthy treats throughout the day. But I'm trying to incorporate more soft food. We're getting there. It's so funny because I made this and I was like, baby, try it. She's like, no, that's dog food. I'm like, no, it's human food. And I ate some of it. It's human food. Okay, it is human food. But the fact that I guess in my mind, I know it's for the dogs. It's automatically dog food. I'm not eating no dog food, okay? It's well, just, the dog show. I just made it. About it. <laughs> they over. You hear them in the background. <laughs> they think it's dog food. As long as they think it's dog food. It oh, is what it is. I used to actually sell dog food. I used to make it myself for my girls and sell it. I used, my, the name of my company was called Fresh Pups. So one of the families that I used to work for had two big dogs and she used to buy from this company, I forgot the name of it, but it's a basically soft food, dog food company. And uh, I was like, I could do this. I was like, yeah, I should make this for you. And we could probably save a lot of money. I could literally buy the stuff at the grocery store and I'll make it. And when I started doing that, I was like, oh, I should do this for my girls. And it just became a thing. And then um, people started asking me for it. She was referring me to some of her friends and they started asking me for dog food. And I started making it and packaging it and it became a business. The only thing was, I feel like I wasn't able to, or I didn't know, I guess, enough about the business to kind of expand and get it to more people. And I think that's where I stopped. And eventually, I'm gonna start back selling it again. I really wasn't knowledgeable about having a, my own business and I felt like it was hard to find more clients. So yes, it was the person I worked for and her friends that were purchasing it, but I needed more people for it to actually become a full blown business, you know? So I stopped, stopped doing it because it just got, what's the word? Not like too much to manage, but like not enough, too much. I was doing too much and not making enough. Look at him, look at him, look, look at him. Zuri! Stop lying, come here. So yeah, we're gonna start adding this in, try to balance out their diet. Vacation Baby. for the next two weeks. Baby. Because I'm not. <laughs> They're gonna be fine. She be in denial. I'll it's be also good the so they eat one. at one time. Like they're not eating throughout the day. They're gonna eat once a day or twice a day. Period. Or three times a day. Zakia is the ultimate in denial about the girls. Okay, she is Mama Beer. 
Okay, she has the veil over her eyes and I have to make her see. I mean, she never realized that Molly was kind of the, not the bully, cause she's so sweet, but Molly be doing some shady stuff. And I'm like, you don't see this? And she like, Molly would never. I'm like, yes, she is mama bear. Man. How do you feel? You only ate three times a day, or one time a day. Look at her, she almost done with her food, yo. Yeah. I gotta order new bra. Look at her. You medium? You fat. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. I'll see y'all later. Where are you going? grapes like this before and I was a little you know skeptical about it but look at this you ever eaten a grape like this so I had always uh, seen these grapes like the last few weeks me going to the store and they look so weird and at first I was like mm, no thank you but then you know, being that we're eating more fruits, I was like, you know what, why not? We just gotta explore and you never know what you might like. And so I decided, I said, well, I'm gonna try them. And they're actually called moon drop grapes. They're great antioxidant. They help regulate your blood sugar. And they just, they just taste good. Oh, I'm gonna make a little fruit ball. And it seems like Pia wants some. Oh, she went to the library. Where she is, she hasn't hit me up. Oh, she should be on the way back. So, yeah, after this, I gotta go to therapy because I gotta go to therapy three times a week because of, um, you know, the accident and my thumb, and I've just been having back pain. Like, I still can't close my thumb all the way. It's crazy. What caused you to get an accident, and how did you get? Mom, you know I can't talk about that. Next. Next question. Oh, that's nice. I have a to open up the shirt. I have a book on top of my head. No, I haven't passed out, no head injuries. I you give yourself a worse headache. I did feel like dizziness a little bit. Should it shake yourself a little bit. Not surprisingly. <laughs> Help look. So we just gonna have to keep it right there.